गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन येस्टडे वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अर्थ्स ग्रिड वॉट अ अर्थ ग्रिड इज राइट सो इन ऑर्डर टू लोकेट करेक्टली ईच एंड एवरी प्लेस ऑन दी सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ अ नेटवर्क ऑफ हॉरिजोंटल एंड वर्टिकल लाइन्स नॉ दीज हॉरिजोंटल एंड वर्टिकल लाइन्स आर योर लैटिट्यूड्स एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड्स दीज आर योर लैटिट्यूड्स एंड दीज आर योर लॉन्गिट्यूड्स right so these latitudes and longitudes they form a network a you know a mesh like network which is called as a grid earth grid and wherever these latitudes and longitudes meet they help us in locating the position of any particular place on the earth so this network of systematic lines is called the earth grid in order to accurately pinpoint the position of any place on earth a grid system is used it points the location by using two coordinates latitude and longitudes now if you know if you see this you uh, know network of latitude and longitude you can you know you can uh, it is similar to your graph paper you use graph paper in mathematics right x axis is there y axis is there and you point out the coordinates right x comma y coordinates right you po- point the coordinates on the graph paper similarly you point you point coordinates on this network of lines network of horizontal and vertical lines right and those coordinates are the actual position of any particular place on the earth pilots or ships can t- captains use latitudes and longitude lines to find the shortest distance between two points you can also use the geographic grid to give a specific location by giving the intersection of the latitudes and longitude lines at that point right now if you see this point its longitudinal position is 60 degree and its latitudinal position is you know uh, 50 degree now latitudes right they run east or west right uh, your latitudes they run in the east west direction but the distance is measured in the north south either in the north of the equator or south of equator that is how the distance of a latitude is measured they run in the east west direction right they run like this they are parallel to the equators but if we talk about the distance the distance is measured north or south of the equator now if we talk about longitudes longitudes they run north or south no your longitudes if we talk about longitudes they run north they the they, uh, they run in the north south direction right they are running in the north south direction but if we talk about the distance the distance is measured in the east or west of the prime meridian right the distance is measured either in the east direction of the prime meridian or in the west direction of the prime meridian so this is your east of the prime meridian so longitude if you see it is 60 degree latitude if you see it is your 50 degree that is how the distance is mean measured the the location of a particular place is measured on the earth see the point p lies parallel on the the point p lies on the parallel of latitude at 50 degree north from the equator and on the meridian at 60 degree west its location is therefore 50 degree north 60 degree west right this uh, this is your west direction this is your east direction so this is running in you know point p is 60 degree west and it is your 50 degree north now important parallel parallels of latitudes important parallels means the you know a, a, apart from your equator what are other important latitudes and how are these latitudes important equator is the latitude at 0 degree similarly we have other lines of latitudes which which also hold their importance that is your tropic of cancer you know it is at 23.5 degree north tropic of capricorn 23.5 degree south antarctic circle that is 66.5 degree south 
and Arctic Circle 66.5 degree north. Now these are your important lines or important parallels of latitudes. Equator is a latitude at 0 degree. Tropic of Cancer, right, it is a latitude at a distance of 23.5 degree north. Tropic of Cancer is a latitude at 23.5 degree south. Arctic Circle is a latitude at 66.5 degree north. And Antarctic Circle is a latitude at 66.5 degree south. Now, heat zones of the earth. What do we understand by the term heat zones of the earth? Now, heat zones means, you know, the area, the area near the equator. Why it is red? Because it, it receives the maximum, it receives direct sunlight of the earth, right? The area near the equator, it receives direct sun rays of the earth and that is why it is called the heat zone right it is the heat zone of the earth toroid zone it receives the maximum amount of heat it receives the direct sun rays of the earth and that is why this area is called the toroid zone this is your temperate zone because it doesn't receive the direct sun rays but still it receives sun rays in maximum amount so these are your temperate zones neither too hot nor too cold a temperate environment, a temperate, you know, climate is there. It is warm because it also receives the sun rays. Not, in, not direct, but still it receives the sun rays which are, you know, uh, uh, no, which are, uh, you can say, which are enough to maintain the warm environment of a particular place. Now, this is your cold. Why? Because it, it, receives, either, it receives either very less sunlight or it doesn't receive sunlight at all. Now, this is your polar zone. It receives very less amount of sunlight and maximum cases it doesn't even receive sunlight. Right? So, it is the frigid zone. It remains freezed throughout the year. The poles, right? They are freezed throughout the year. The area between the Tropic of Cancer, now this is your Tropic of Cancer and this is your Tropic of Capricorn. So, area between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn receives the maximum heat and is called toroid zone. So, this is your toroid zone, area between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. The areas between the Arctic Circle, now Arctic Circle and Tropic of Cancer and Antarctic Circle and Tropic of Capricorn. This yellow portion, right? It is the area between Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle. So, the areas between the Arctic Circle and Tropic of Cancer in Northern Hemisphere and the Antarctic Circle and Tropic of Capricorn in the Southern Hemisphere have moderate temperature. These are called temperate zones. And the areas lying above the Arctic Circle and North Pole, that is your this. And the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere remain very cold because the sun provides less heat due to its slanting rays. They are called frigid zones. Now, there is a homework for you people. Make a cutout like this. Okay. You will make a cutout depicting four seasons of the earth as shown in the image. Also class, if any query is there regarding the lecture, if you feel there are certain queries which you need to ask, you can contact me through your WhatsApp group. And don't forget to do your homework on time. Thank you.